Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty in Season 5. We are actually going into spring of year two, and we've gotten our first little event uh, that we have of, of this particular game save. Uh, so it looks like we got a wedding day. You and your inhabitants have been, been invited to a wedding. Everyone will attend the ceremony and have a jolly good time. Now, we only really have one option that we can choose, and that's uh, a toast to the couple, no restrictions. Uh, if we were able to choose number two, which it doesn't look like we are because we don't have the tavern, uh, we would apparently be able to celebrate the whole night, but we don't have the tavern built. So we don't get that option. So obviously we get to choose number one. So we're going to hit that. Uh, all villagers got 15 mood. All right. Well, that's good regardless. Alrighty, there we go. We are got to pay taxes. It's a beautiful spring morning. We, it looks like we got crops that are ready to, to be plucked <laughs> or harvested. Alrighty. I tell you what, I like the springtime. It's just it's so nice and green and beautiful. Yep, we got to pay taxes. Alrighty, so um, we have to get six more inhabitants. You can see it in the top. Uh, right of the screen there, six more inhabitants, two more workers uh, for the chapter nine newcomers. Uh, so I'd like to work on getting some more villagers in the village. Uh, now we've got three houses, which I can put three more villagers in. Um, I've talked to um, Bernadetta, which, you know, I've been trying to romance her. I talked to her between episodes and I believe I've got her up to like 90 or 95 percent uh, affection or something so we're real close to, to asking her to marry us uh, so we're gonna go and try and do that today but first I want to see I've been seeing uh, you guys posting in the comment sections whoops I'm looking on the wrong side here that I can upgrade the resource storage or or any building I believe for that matter without actually tearing down the old building and I can still utilize the chest if there's a chest in that building, which all of them have one, but I can utilize the chest while upgrading the building. So what I want to do real quick is see, pick up 21, I need a hammer, is I want to see how that works because I have not experienced that yet since they implemented it. Uh, two, two. There we go. Now, let's go down here. So if I can replace this without actually tearing it down, that would be great. Now, we're going to do Q. We're going to do building, storage. we got the resource two available to... Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, wait a minute. Like that, there we go. I didn't want that ramp out there. Oh, that's awesome. It literally just clips right to it. Hot diggity dog. Let's do an F5 just in case something happens that I don't like it. Uh, okay, so let's hit that. That is perfect. Now, oh, the chest is still available. Hot diggity dog. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, that is so cool. So it, it has the same footprint. It's not any bigger. So I, I wonder if you can go from the two to the three the same way. Same footprint. Oh, that's going to be great. All right, I'm going to put these logs back in here. I can work on upgrading this building at night. That is too freaking cool. So we've also got the Smithy 2 available, which we can upgrade. And I believe we've also got the Workshop 2, which also opens us up to making clay items. Now, I do not have an excavation shed in here, which I need to get one uh, because I, I need to start collecting clay and I haven't been doing it myself. Uh, I've been doing the, the mining myself because you can't set a villager to, do, uh, to collect copper and bronze right now. Excuse me, copper and tin. Uh, we do not have the sewing hut two available to us yet. 
or the woodshed too, which I want to put another woodshed out here because we're going to be doing more building and more upgrades, which means I need more logs. And I need the, I want them faster. <laughs> now I went out, I've been collecting logs. So I had over 200 logs, as you saw in the chest. I've been out collecting logs. So almost every evening, uh, except the evening that I went through, because it takes me one evening to go through and collect all of the copper and tin out of the cave. And then the rest of the evenings, I usually make a few meals, which I need to do that. And I go out and, and start gathering wood from the maple trees around uh, the, this area back out over here. Uh, let me go check my meals real quick. I don't know that I have to make any today. I think I have enough to last me today. Yeah, I've got seven meals, but I need to adjust how much meat we're bringing in. You can see that we've got uh, 160, 70 meat or something already uh, that we've been gathering. Now, granted, you can see that it's been deteriorating, so I think that we're gathering maybe a little bit of extra meat, uh, but we got a ton of carrots on hand. I want to... I think I'm going to build another house, maybe next to the barn there, and put our second, uh, second house, no, a, a second barn house next to the barn, and then I'm probably going to do one more field over here until we can really get a farming community established, which this is not going to be our farming community. This is eventually going to just be our mining and excavation community. So this community is going to gather the logs and the clay and the limestone and all of the ores out of the cave uh, for all of the other villages. Uh, we'll probably leave the blacksmith and the, and the workshop over here. Um, but I'm eventually going to, I'm thinking about doing the farming community, maybe over here. At least that's what I was thinking. Um, because this seems to be nice and flat area over here. There's a ton of trees I can take down uh, to clear the area and stuff. And, and just do nothing but fields over here. And then uh, I want to have a hunting area, which I'm going to have, or a hunting village, which I think I'm probably going to put the hunting village. Ooh, I want to put it over next to Hornica, but man, after the those few episodes to where I went flying and damn near died just from chopping trees, I don't know that I want to put them over there because there's something, something evil over there. <laughs> So I may, I may end up doing maybe something over here, uh, but I do want something on this side of the map. So I'll, I'll end up figuring all of that out eventually as well. Uh, we may end up doing something over here. Uh, we may not do much of anything in the center of the map. I don't know, but that's kind of, kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, I want to try and get more quests done this season. Uh, or actually this year, not just this season, but this year. But you can see we've got one, two, three, there's two in two key there. So there's three, four, five, uh, six, Denica. And then we've got one in Borowu. We've got one current that we need to go do something for. And then we've got, I believe this is going to be the Elwyn quest in Gustovia. So we've got a lot of quests available to us and I need to start doing more quests. Now, I am only on a five day season. I'm not on a 30 day season or a 10 day season or anything to where I can just, you know, go at my leisure and then sleep the season away. Uh, now granted, I am not, uh, let's see, what am I doing? Oh, I'm headed to Gustovia. I don't want that hammer in my hand or the ax. Uh, but I am not at those longer day seasons to where I can just, you know, do things at my leisure. And then when I've got everything I want done, I can sleep the season away. I'm not to that stage yet. Now my, I'm not necessarily as rushed as I felt like I was, uh, in our first year. I felt very rushed in our first year to try and get a, a lot of stuff placed and done and villagers in hand and I wanted to go to that village there to see if there was somebody there but we'll do that on the way back um, 
but I am still somewhat rushed because we uh, we have after today we got four days left in this particular season. So I want to get stuff in the ground. Uh, I want to get things going. Now, speaking of getting things in the ground, let's open this up. Let's go to management. I want. I still have yet to delete that one plot. I literally bid that one plot for the, the chapter quest so we could complete it. I just got to delete it still. Uh, but I want to go into here. So we've got... Looks like we got a few things not quite ready for harvest. This should be yellow, right? I think that should be yellow. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. So eventually I think, do I have all that set? I do have all that set. All right, we're just gonna leave that like it is. I was gonna change this to where it ran north to south. So I've got everything planted east to west, but our farmer doesn't really like to plant east to west. He plants north to from south to north. Uh, because when I set this crop up and everything and hired him or recruited him and put him in as the farmer, I noticed that he came down here and started doing fertilizer up here and, and working his way like this through the map or th through the field. But... I had laid out all of my stuff this way, um, not thinking that he was a directional planter, but apparently he is. But maybe, maybe, it, maybe it'll work out fine. But it, it seemed like he was wasting a lot of time because I went through and I planted the carrots because he was spending so much time fertilizing all of this stuff here that didn't need to be fertilized yet. It wasn't even the season to plant those items, but he was fertilizing the whole field. So I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I may have to just totally crap this whole field and start over. I don't know. We'll, I'll figure that out off camera and stuff. Uh, all righty. All righty. Let me finish heading off to Gustovia so we can talk to Bernadetta. I'll see you folks when we get there. All righty, folks. Here we are in Gustovia. Let's see here. Is this, this is Bernadetta right here, right? Nope. Here she is, right there. I knew that. <laughs> right, let's see here. We're gonna, do, we're gonna do an F5. And then let's Hello. talk to Bernadetta. Yeah, see, I've got her up to a 96% affection. Uh, so let's talk her up and see if we can get her to marry us. Romance, how are you doing, beautiful? I can listen to your voice for hours. Do you sing? What's the difference between a woman's argument and a knife? Now, the last time we talked to this, I thought that she'd really like that, but I think she only gave us a three when we we used that last time. Uh, let's see. I want to do with you what spring does with the cherry trees. <laughs> Okay, I want to use that just to see what it does. Uh, let's see. I want to do with you what spring does with the cherry trees. <laughs> Did you know those are my favorite? That got us to a 99. So she liked that. So they gave us a four. Uh, let's see. Let's go to actually never mind. See Farewell. Let's do an F5. Hello. Talk to her one more time. This should get us up to 100%. Should be a kind of a guaranteed win here. Uh, let's see. How are you doing? Beautiful. I fantasize about the taste of your lips. Uh, let's see. Do you know what a pig that ran into a bush is called? Do you know what a pig that ran into a bush is called? A hedgehog. <laughs> uh, let's see. It might sound strange, but I've heard that soaking clothes... Okay, we've heard that one before. Uh, you know what? Let's try... I know that she kind of liked this one the last time, or the, the fantasy thing last time and i believe we actually use the taste of your lips so let's try that one again number two 100 percent. it was a plus three affection uh, i usually don't approve of fantasies but i'm glad to be a guest in this one perfect actually never mind Goodbye. farewell let's do the f5 
And let's ask Miss Bernadetta to be our wife. Uh, so we're going to go into romance. How are you doing, beautiful? I've never felt love like this bef that before. Uh, it scares me, but I'd rather spend my whole life living in fear than to draw even one more breath without you as my wife. I'm scared too. I was scared of feelings my whole life, but now I would love to be terrified together with you. <laughs> okay. You've made me the happiest man alive. Alrighty, there we go. Bernadetta is now our wife. And she's still sitting here. <laughs> okay, is she going to do something? Let's see, let's hey, talk to friend. her. Uh, let me take a closer look at you. Uh, I have a favor to ask of you. How's our little kingdom doing? Where can I find? Small talk. Be well, my love. Okay. Goodbye. Be well, my love. Now, do I, I need to assign her. Mood is going up. Everybody's is up. That's good. She does not have a profession. What is? So she's farming, survival, and production. So, <clears throat> farming, survival, and production. All right. Well, let's put her in. Uh, what is what's the wait a minute what is the excav ex, not the excavator the the uh what am i trying to think of herbalist hut herbalist hut that's is that extraction it is extraction she's not extraction though right yeah the herbalist hut is extraction oh but it says survival okay Okay, so we can put her in the in the herbalist hut. We'll do that. Good. Perfect. Now we're. I guess I'll set her to collect a bunch of different stuff because we need stuff, right? Alrighty, got her stuff assigned, so that way she can actually start um, gathering items. I just kind of put just a broad selection of stuff for her to start picking. I can go through later and figure all of that out, uh, which I will probably be gathering some of the herbs and stuff myself as well. Um, I mainly want her to start picking berries. Uh, that way we have a, a surplus of berries for quests and different items and stuff like that. But anyway, now we've gotten her to be our wife. Uh, let's see. There was a quest over here. Yes, I think this is Elwyn. I'm almost positive that's an Elwyn. So I don't want to start Elwyn's quest just yet. Uh, but let's go over to Borowu and see what this other quest is. I know I have to pick up something for Unigos. Let's go here. So the Unigos story. Retrieve Unigos scythe from Ida. Okay, so we can go over to Borowu. Wait, let's see who else is here. We may be able to recruit another person. Uh, three in diplomacy, three in production. I'm not worried about production right now. Farming. Farming. Uh... I've already got a male farmer. I think if I'm going to do another farmer, I would get a female right now. I need a male hunter because I'm, I'm planning on putting these, these people together. So if we open up management real quick. Yeah, my hunter is already female. My farmer is male and my lumberjack is male. And I want to get another one of each of those in the village for sure. All 
All right, it looks like Odin here has our quest. So let's do an F5. Let's go talk to Odin real quick. Be see welcome, what he has stranger. for us. Uh, can I help you with something? I've lost my bow, or maybe someone stole it. I'm not sure. Never mind. It doesn't matter. I am in need of a new one. Could you please craft one for me? I will bring you a new bow. How come it's not dinging that I picked up a new quest? Normally it, like, does the whole dinging thing, that big chime and stuff, that I picked up a quest. That was interesting. Uh, but anyway, let's go into the journal. Missing bow. He wants a long bow. You're a... <laughs> okay, we will... We have all season to get his long bow, so we'll end up doing that. Uh, let's see. What is this here? Two, one, two, two, one, one. And... Okay, so this guy's in excavation. Yeah, both of these guys are excavation. I think my excavation is already... So he, okay. Lumberjack. So I need kind of need a female. Otherwise, i got to put up new buildings. Okay. So none of you guys are going to work for me. Great. <laughs> uh, I don't think this guy here does bows at all. Let nice to meet you. Because I'm going to, I think I'm going to have to buy a bow. Show me your Yeah, he does the clay stuff and wooden stuff. Okay. Goodbye. Can I make a longbow? Do I have that technology? Recurve. Yes, I can make a longbow. I have that available to me. Uh, but it's going to cost me 500 coin just to buy the schematic plus the items. So I think that we may end up trying to buy a longbow. I think it'll be cheaper that way. But anyway, I think we're going to call this an episode. I'm going to go back and upgrade all of the buildings to the level two that we can. Um, I am also going to work on maybe lining up a new crop field. Um, that way I can, one, that way I can start getting the crop fields going the right direction. That way our farmers can work efficiently rather than fertilizing a feet, part of the field that doesn't even need to be fertilized yet. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to do? I think I'm going to need to build a couple more houses. I need to build an excavation shed. Uh, that way we can start gathering clay and limestone. And I might be able to go back and get those two guys because they were, I believe they were excavationists. So we can actually get them to come in and work our excavation huts uh, and, and workshop, not workshop, woodshed. So there's a lot of stuff to do. Got to add a few more people so we can advance this uh, chapter quest. But anyway, I appreciate you folks joining me for this. And uh, if you're liking these, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, you can find all of my links and everything in the description below. Uh, buy me a coffee, Twitter, Facebook, Reddit. Uh, all of that is in the description. But anyway, you folks take care and happy hunting.